Hello, thank you for tuning in. This is Rich Mencio with Allnet. Today we're going to discuss Cowie Leonard's shot. All right, the man has a huge hand. So as you can see here, he has the ball completely on the, the out, outside. But how he finishes is the most important. So we're going to continue forward with that motion. You see that his wrist and his forearm are turning to end up putting his hand right there. You see the turn? Puts it right center of the ball. You can see that his index to middle has a good spread and the middle to the ring finger has a good spread. There's a little bit more of a spread on the uh, ring finger um, and that's okay. He'll, he'll make the adjustments just subconsciously make the adjustments and I'll, I'll get into that. But those fingers are trying to come off the ball simultaneously. That's the objective. So uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's their role to keep the ball pushed towards the middle finger. That is your guide finger. That's the finger you want it to come off last. And we'll, we'll go through and we'll show and explain why. All right, so forward it. Look, fingers are coming off simultaneously or almost simultaneously, which puts that ball right on the middle finger. Now, the closer he can get it to the, the center of the middle finger, then that becomes a, a, a perfect release, the most accurate release. Okay, so now we'll move on to the, the next clip. Again, on this one, the hand placement wasn't as, it wasn't as good. His ring finger is too far on the outside. So the ball is sitting more on the index and middle. So he has to make that adjustment. If he was to continue through with the weight of the ball on the outside and this, this hand continuing its motion, then the ball would have been too much on the outside, which would have been left of the basket. But you'll see, that he has to make the adjustment with the index, pushing the weight of the ball back to the middle finger. Take it forward. All right, do you see how right in there, right, you can see that twist, the push right there with the index. That's why it's going from here, and watch over here where it, where it ends up. Right there. Now, that continuation of that push is pushing the ball back towards the middle finger, which is getting it back on track, back on alignment. Okay, let's continue to the next. Okay, again, since he has such a huge hand, if, if his hand is off, uh, you know, alignment one way or the other on the ball, then he has to make adjustments. It could be, if the ball was sitting like this one, if his ring finger was too far to the outside and it can't stay on the ball long enough with the index to come off simultaneously, then the index has to make up for that difference and it has to push it back towards the middle because the, the ring finger can't assist. Now there will be shots to where it's the opposite. It'll be shots to where it's sitting on the ring finger and the middle finger. And then he'll have to make the adjustment and push with the ring finger, pushing it back towards the middle finger. So it's, it's, not, um, uh, it's not that anyone is really trying to shoot with a middle and an index or a ring finger and a middle. It's th they're, they're making the adjustments out of necessity, pushing the ball towards the middle finger. Okay, let's continue this one. Okay, this shot here, his hand placement is better. So he's able to keep the ring finger on a little bit longer than his previous shot. Let's see if I can slow it down just enough. Okay. All right, so we can see the length of the finger versus the circumference of the ball. This one is still going to come off a little bit before the, the index. Okay, but he knows that instinctively 
really good shooters that just like breathing. That it just they were they were just you're, you're born with this gift. The, the pressure difference, uh, you can you can you can just feel it. So they make up the adjustment. So with this, he'll end up pushing a little more with the index towards the middle. Boom. And what did he do? The, the ball is now coming onto the middle finger where the index was, was trying to get it to. Okay, continue forward with this. Now this one, you could see, back it up, one more. Now, his grip wasn't as wide, so it's gonna make it a little easier for him to keep these fingers on the ball and have them push together and leave simultaneously or almost simultaneously. So we have good placement, we have good spread. So we have the index in the middle, good spread, and then the middle and the ring, good spread. Um, might be a little bit less on this one, hard to tell, but they will leave the ball simultaneously or almost simultaneously. So they're doing their, their job. These are, all, these are all pusher fingers. So they push evenly together, which pushes the ball onto the middle finger and center middle finger makes it a perfect shot. Right there, you can see index is off, ring finger is off. On the middle finger and center middle finger, what makes it a very, very beautiful shot. Forward motion. All right, so even though he has a huge hand, Hand placement and finger spread is critical. So it's not a, um, it's not that somebody is choosing to use an index or an index middle. They're ending up using it out of necessity only when they need to, to make up for a either bad hand placement or an uneven spread of the fingers. Uh, but the middle, middle finger is the, is the most accurate and hopefully I will uh, continue with more NBA players and, and hopefully I can get everyone to, uh, you know, um, to see this in a better light. Thank you for joining in, and we will continue on the next player. And I'll leave you with that thought right there. Do you see how I said before? This index is uh, too far on the outside, and now the weight of the ball is sitting on the ring finger and middle finger, so now he has to use the ring finger to apply more pressure. Pushes the ball back to the middle finger. Otherwise, if he was pushing more with the index, the index finger would have been down further and the wrist would have been turned, but he's not pushing more with the ring, which pushing the wrist almost completely straight. All right, until next time, thank you for tuning in.